Hey vlog family, it's me back at it again with the vlog vlogs. Anyway, <laughs> what a great intro. I'm going to see Lizzo tonight. If you don't know who Lizzo is, I feel sorry for you. Lizzo is an amazing artist and I'm really excited to go. I just have to figure out what to wear and I have to, as the kids say, beat my face. Um, but I tweeted her earlier and I was like so excited to go so excited to see Lizzo tonight. Or so, oh God, wow, I'm great at telling stories. I said I'm so excited to get dolled up to go see Lizzo tonight. What do I wear though? And then she, um, quote, retweeted me and said nothing with like a creepy moon sign. But I can't wear nothing or the 930 Club won't let me in. So let's see what we can rustle up out of the old closet. Okay, I think I got the look settled. I'm wearing this bralette from Rue 21, this uh, plaid sleeveless dress from Target, and then my jeans from um, JCPenney, and I am wearing my skimmies underneath because the beach tore up the inside of my thighs, like tore them up, so they need a little extra love and support, and there's nothing to be ashamed of about that, so have a little bit of the belly peeking out for a little bit of, you know, wood wood. And uh, that's the look. I'm trying to give you a, a whole body. This mirror is not very good for that. Oh, and I'm gonna put on tennis shoes with this because it's gonna rain tonight and I don't wanna ruin any of my shoes or ruin my feet, so. <laughs> Boom, all done. I'm running a couple minutes behind, but hopefully I'll still be on time to meet my friends at the correct metro stop. And then we're gonna be on our way, but I could look pretty good. Went a bit dramatic and dark with the makeup. So, I haven't worn this lipstick in a long time. It's very fall, but very dramatic. It is super humid and it's like 80, but it's not sunny. Um, and it's probably definitely gonna rain in like an hour, so I have my umbrella, but with my umbrella and this camera in my purse, this is a heavy freaking purse, and I regret a little bit because I'm gonna have to carry this and dance with it and be at the concert with it, and I'm just like, have I made a mistake? I don't know. Great lighting. I'm at the 930 Club with my friend. Laura's here. Rachel's here. Grace is here. Whatever that picture of me. Where'd it go? The big reveal. Grace has a cool camera. I was gonna like bring it. Oh. Oh, she's doing cinematography for me. <laughs> oh yeah. New profile pic. Thanks. I'm really hot and sweaty because it's really humid. But we're having a good time, aren't we? Yes. We're inside. Rachel is in the stall. <laughs> wow. Vlogging? How dare you? I'm in the bathroom. <laughs> we're about to go out and meet our friends. We're here. This is the stage. Laura let me get in front of her because I'm short. Bless you, you angel. <laughs>
family affects all of us because we're connected and we're one. Okay? I want you guys to always know that I will do everything in my power to make sure that when you come to a Lizzo show, it is a safe space. There is no racism allowed in here. Okay? No xenophobia allowed in here. Because I wanted everyone that listens to it, no matter what they look like or where they was from, to hear a fat black woman sing a song for 30, 30 and a half minutes just empathizing with it. I realize that the world needs more empathy even outside my fat black female self. And so for the pain that we all feel, and I know that we all feel it, for the lives lost to senseless violence, over in Manchester, on the London Bridge, in honor of all the people who, oh my gosh. Today we found out that the officer who killed Philando, and, um, and uh, you know, the system, they say the system is broken, but the system's not broken because it's been working this way and it was created this way. It was built to do this, you know? I think it's the power is in our hands to build a new system, find a new system that works for us, and this ain't working for us right now. We're all tired of it, it doesn't matter. Black lives matter, your life matters, her life matters, they matter. So like I was saying earlier about the bullshit, instead of letting it bring me down, you know what I like to do?
died so I'm using my iPhone found Stacy hello I ended up making a friend in the in the show because my friends left because they were feeling really exhausted they had a long day so they went to go sit down and then the concert lasted so long and the train stopped going at noon noon <laughs> midnight <laughs> so they had to get back so they left which is fine and then my new friend and I went because we're going on the same train so we went to the same station and She's gonna look up my <laughs> Lizzo vlog in a week <laughs> to find me. Um, and actually, Stacy was on the same line in a different stop. And, oh, honey, I'm getting there. And I got on my train, and then Stacy was like, My train is seven minutes away. And I was like, I think that's my train. So we got out, and then we found each other. And now we're gonna get on this train, and we're gonna make it home. And I'm so tired and so thirsty. <sighs> hey guys, it's the next day now. Um, I was so tired when I got home. It was like 12.30 and I'm usually a 10.30 sleep person. So last night was definitely different for me. But I had such a good time at the concert. It was like... I should make sure I don't have pizza on my face. Um, the concert was phenomenal. It was better than I expected. Um... I don't know, the, the the dancing was amazing, Lizzo was amazing, her dancers are called the big girls, which is great, um, and I kind of had a crush on one of them, and she kept coming over to my side and dancing and looking at me, and I was like, hey. Um, but yeah, it was. I mean, it, it started late, it went until 11.30, and we had to catch the train, because the train stopped at like midnight last night, so that was kind of stressful, but I stayed for the whole thing. Yeah, I I saw something happen, and I've seen some stuff on social media today, but the person that got up to dance on the stage with Lizzo tried to step on a woman in a wheelchair to get on stage. Tried to step on her like a stool to get on stage, which was really, really messed up. And I don't know if Lizzo saw it. I don't know if Lizzo's team saw it. Um, the person who was stepped, almost stepped on, might have been actually stepped on, has tweeted about it. And I think Lizzo did acknowledge it, but he hasn't, like, apologized or anything yet. But anyway, that was real messed up. Uh, and that kind of sucked. And I feel like it really ruined that person's night. Um, and I feel really bad about that. And, I mean, not that I could have done anything because I was not near them. I was just, like... I could see what was going on, sort of, but I was like, it was almost like, did that really just happen? Because this person was wearing, like, really high, spiky, like, shoes, and I was like, did that really just happen? It was like a, it was like, it was just like, almost like it wasn't real, because it was so, like, did you really just try to step on or over someone in a wheelchair and it was like the person couldn't even do anything it was like her friends that were like what are you doing like oh it was rough anyway the audio was really loud at the venue so I'm sorry it was clipping on the camera um, I actually had earplugs that I took to at the beach because I get really bad like audio overload so it helps to have them with me and I put them in like before it, even the the opener came on because it was just I knew it was gonna be loud because we were right up front um, so that really helped. So if you have problems with that and you still want to go to concerts, just bring earplugs because it is so damn loud that you can still hear everything. Uh, you just, you know, you uh, are actually happy. And I think if I didn't have them, I wouldn't have stayed as long. My friends ended up leaving to go sit down before Lizzo opened because they were just like exhausted. And I was like, that's fine. I didn't really care. Like, I mean, you know, do you need to take care of yourself? And then Lizzo went on for so long that they actually ended up, I mean, they had to take the train too and they were going further than I was. So I just told them to go because I was like, you need to get your train. It's okay. So they went and then again, I walked back with my new friend. So everything was good, but yeah, good overall. 
I hope you like this vlog. Uh, give it a thumbs up if you did and leave a comment of your favorite Lizzo song because I would recommend anyone go to see her concerts because they were pretty fun. Uh, yeah. Oh, the person next to me did not smell good. Not my friend, the other person next to me. They, I think maybe they smelled good at one point, but then like by the time they were dancing and sweating, they did not smell good and it was gross. But, you know, concert stuff um, that I'm not used to because I don't go to concerts. But yeah, I hope you like this vlog. Um, you can follow me on my social medias, which I have on the screen right now, and I'll see you next time. Bye!